New to Netflix? Want to learn how to use this awesome video streaming service? Keep watching. I'm Jessica from techboomers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to use Netflix. There are lots of different devices you can use to watch Netflix, but today we're going to show you how to do it on your computer. The instructions won't be too much different on other devices. Now let's get started. To sign into your Netflix account, go to netflix.com in your web browser. Then click Sign In. Enter your email address and password. If there are multiple profiles on your account, choose the one you'd like to use. Now you can start browsing Netflix for things to watch. There are a few different ways to discover new things to watch on Netflix. Let's go over the three ways you can do this. The first one is to simply scroll through the main Netflix page until you see something you're interested in. This can take a while, and to some may be a little overwhelming because of the sheer number of things available to watch. If you have some idea of the type of content you'd like to watch, you can browse a specific category. At the top of your screen, choose whichever one sounds best to you. This will open a new page with content from just that category. Some categories may also have subcategories. Use the drop down menu to select a subcategory if you want to. If you know exactly what you want to watch but just need to find it, click in the search bar and type in the title of what you want to watch. If it's available on Netflix, you'll see it appear in the search results. If it isn't available, Netflix may still be able to suggest some related content you may want to watch instead. Regardless of how you're discovering new content, the way you play something is the same. When you see something you're interested in watching, click on it to read more about it. If you're looking at watching an episode of a TV show, click Episodes. Select the specific episode you want to watch. To watch a movie or TV episode, click the play button. The video will load and begin playing. At the bottom of your screen, you'll see a toolbar with playback controls. Click pause to temporarily stop playing the video you're watching. Click the speaker button to adjust the volume of what you're watching. Move the slider upwards to increase the volume or down to decrease it. Use the horizontal slider above to move forwards or backwards in the video. Clicking on this button will take you to the next episode if you're watching a TV show. Click this button to see a list of other episodes and read a description of the one you're watching right now. The speech bubble icon gives you access to your subtitle settings. Choose the language of subtitles you want to enable, or click off to turn off subtitles. The last button in the toolbar allows you to play the video in full screen mode. Click the escape button on your keyboard to exit full screen mode. Click the arrow in the top left corner to go back to the Netflix browse page. If you see something you're interested in watching but don't have time to watch it right now, click the plus sign beside my list to add it to your Netflix watch list. This will make it easier for you to keep track of things you want to watch when you have time to get around to it. To easily access your watch list, go to netflix.com slash my list. This will save you from having to scroll through all of the sections on the Netflix browse page looking for the section with your watch list. Hover over something you want to watch, then click the play button to begin playing it. On the Netflix Browse page, you may come across a section labeled Continue Watching. This will provide you with a list of content you started watching but didn't finish, or a TV series you've only watched part of. Use the arrow buttons on either side to look through the list. If you scroll down on the main Netflix browsing page, you'll come across some sections with recommendations from Netflix. Based on things you've already watched, Netflix will compile lists of content they think you'll like. Use the arrow buttons to look through and see if any of their recommendations spark your interest. 
Many people share their Netflix account with a friend or family member to make it less expensive for each other. However, you may not be interested in seeing what someone else is watching, or maybe you just want to make sure your kids are only able to watch things that are appropriate for their age. This is where Netflix profiles come in. You can have multiple profiles on one Netflix account with separate settings, watch lists, and recommendations for each. To add a new profile to your account, click your name in the top right. Then click Manage Profiles. To make changes to an existing profile, click the pencil icon above its name. To create a new one, click Add Profile. Type in a name for your profile. If you want to restrict this profile to content rated suitable for children 12 and under, click the box beside Kid to indicate that you want this age restriction enabled. Then click Continue. When you're finished managing your profiles, click Done. When you're all done watching Netflix, you can sign out of your account. To do this, click your name in the top right corner. Then click Sign Out of Netflix. That does it for this video on how to use Netflix. Thanks for watching! If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below. Check out techboomers.com for over 100 free courses on all of today's most popular websites and apps.